to what is that? No. Those are diamonds, but that is 14 karat gold. That one's 10 karat though, right there. Those are 14 karat, I think. I think it's a freaking gold bracelet. That was incredible because I'll be honest with you, I think that's a really a solid gold bracelet right there. All right, guys, here we are back in this storage unit. It is a 10 by 20, but it is just a U shape. I haven't really gone through much of anything that's left in here. I got this pile set aside for Alameda, and all of this is fresh merchandise. There's a lot of stuff in here to be filmed. I rented a truck. It's going to be a very expensive week for us because the trailer's down. It's got to get fixed, but I can't waste time. So I rented the truck. We're going to swoop all this up, move it back to my storage, maybe pick something else up on the way back. I don't know. The way I'm doing this basically is we're just going to go through this now. We're going to film it back at my storage. So if I see some cool, I'll take note, but there's not going to be a lot of quick filming right now, but there will be just a minute, which is for you guys will be just as you blink your eyes, I'll be there filming, but realistically it won't be for like another day. Anyway, here we go. Quick update. It's hot as hell. We're just loading it. This guy's working. <laughs> Busted a sweat. They took apart like 900 of these shelves. It's just the way it goes. Then we're getting back into here. And yeah, lots of stuff, guys. Very exciting. I can't wait to go through all this. What is this? Come on, be a hundred grand. Daddy needs a new hundred grand. All right, what is in here? Come on, baby. Ooh. Does that look like a hundred grand in there? I don't know. Come on. Every time we open up a suitcase is what we tell ourselves. It's a hundred grand. Um, maybe. Let's take a look. We have, ooh. We have this. A Nishiki short coat. Okay. Trenton State College. Oh, come on. Ah. Hmm. Interesting. What do we have here? Oh. Okay. Um. That's cool. My neat stuff. Like I'm, I'm definitely just intrigued because at least everything is somewhat cool. Like here we have wheels and ephemera. Yep, definitely postcard. I was hoping that was a Leica. It's an Argus, something or other, but definitely cool. And then we have a handful of other cameras here, an Olympus, we have a Canon ML, carrying on, hoo hoo, hoo hoo, hoo hoo, oh my, what is this? Hey guys, nice. welcome back to my channel. We are here in the storage unit, and um, yeah, I'm just chilling. Yeah, just trying to uh, find some cool treasure. That about wraps it up in here, I think. We have an outfit and an outfit and then nothing. Just weird weirdness. All right, this unit's a wrap. Truck is freaking full. Loaded down. My truck is full. Loaded down. And we're going to head on back to the storage. And uh, we're going to unload this and get to rooting. So, yeah, stay tuned. My storage is starting to come back together again. We got an appointment with the computer guy soon. Making a little bit of space, but it's about to get chaotic again anyway. We're back at the storage, and this bad boy is full. And we're going to start going through it. We're going to start sorting. This truck is full for already for Alameda and the internet, so there's no sense in going through it. We got to unload this. And what is it? It is um, 210. 2 11 on a tuesday afternoon we left here at 7 got there after 9 loaded up back here because this is like a freaking hour and a half drive tomorrow i have to pick up another 10 by 12 and then get this all done sorted loaded and ready to go to the flea market for thursday because that's really the way it goes it sounds simple like you watch it and everybody's like take your time and go through and stuff but this is the reality of how the storage business actually goes if you want to make money in this business this is the process you must follow if you want to actually turn it into an everyday job Hustle grind and wine is every day. It isn't a unit, six months, and you're taking your time. It's like this, you're watching real time lately. This is like a, a working business vlog in motion. What mm. This is just straight flea market. 
hard stuff. Yeah. Unless there's like boxes of gold or something special, but like this is just crafting stuff, right? There's uh, some type of cheap tool under there. Hmm. First box, what's in this? Okay, Smirnoff, okay. We know what they like to do. Oh, there's this, ooh, is that a gun case down there? There's no way it's a gun case, but what could it be? You know, let's keep some, let's look in the, I'm gonna look at some of this, like, for instance, why don't I keep that? What is this? I'm keeping tools that are cool because we're building a workshop soon. I say keep this. I say keep this for now. Maybe. It's nothing special, yeah. but no. The little woman likes tools, so we're keeping things that she would use. Um, and we're going to build a workshop one day soon. In our, in our new home that we're going to buy. What's this one down here? Is that cordless? Mm -hmm. yeah, no, it's no. corded. Let's keep that too. Oh, wow. What is this? Nothing. All right, that whole tote can go in the next pile. New Year's celebration kit. What kind of records we got here? CDs. What do you know about records, Anthony? The Boss, Earl Nightingale. Earl Nightingale, Earl Nightingale. Somebody really liked Earl Nightingale. You go ahead and get some more stuff out. It's not. Ooh. Hey. Yakpot. All right. You were talking about this stuff earlier, and then I found it. What? Oh, okay. Remember how we started talking about gold bars? Look at this. First, we talked about firecrackers, oh, yeah. and then we talked about gold bars. Wow. Yeah. Cheap Trick, Essential Inner Skinner, Kiss. I need to pull all the good CDs out. Now this is pretty nice. It said $13.99 back in the day. It's a good wall hanging there, right? It's two of them. We could start a band, Anthony. Yeah. yeah. What is this? Please be a stife. Oh my. Ooh. Look at that. That's not your normal bear. Look. See how the head moves? What's there? I don't know. Sheesh. It reminds me of a stife. What is this? We collected McDonald's toys on this side. Gargoyles, Lion Kings. That's kind of cool, I guess. A couple bucks. We'll have to take a look in that farther. Ooh. Batman and Beyond. Interesting. And then, what do we have here? More toys. All right. set those aside for Alameda. It looks like a lot of basic stuff. The person was definitely an artist, so yeah. Uh, no. Looks like all things. I'm gonna go back over here to my own box. We have family room Christmas. I don't know if I want to open that, guys, but I'm gonna have to, right? Like, Hmm. Okay. O. E. L. I have a suspicion the little woman's going to want these. She'll be here soon. Anthony said he found one cool thing in there. Let's see what it is. It looks different. What are they? Do you have any idea? No idea. Wow. Kind of dice or something? I don't think they're dice. Look they're at them. Nice Could they be gold on there? No. They're unique, and I like them. Oh, 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 please be something good. 
I'm not going to get excited yet. Right now I'm looking at this. For my daughter Dorothy, write my best love, Charles W. Russell. I thought that was like Franklin Roosevelt. All right, let's see what we have in here. Ooh, what is this? That's interesting. And pulsar. Dude, what is that? No. That's pretty sick. I don't know if that's those are diamonds, but that is 14 karat gold, man. What if, if those are real? <sighs> 14 karat gold. Look, I'm always finding it uh, this is intriguing. This could be gold. So I didn't want to rush this right out to the flea market. It is broken silver. This right here is silver. Every little piece of paper in this unit needs to be gone through, to be honest with you. Yeah. Because there could be gold coins, there could be any, just like some things anywhere. Made in Hong Kong. This is some cool stuff. I'm just going to have to go like this. This is a silver necklace right here. This is freaking tight. That's why I wanted to get loose. If that is real, I don't think it is, but see how it has the greening on it? Yeah. That wouldn't be real. It smells like booze, too. Booze? Yeah. That's kind of cool, though. It's not real, but it's a good costume, one of those. What is this? This thing is heavy. It's not real. It's brass. You can see it. Ooh, I've never ever cleaned up my life. Dang, these are those ones that I got off the side of the road that one time. Yeah, I know those well. That's why I don't think I got excited because I remember the tint to them. I, I I bought a couple of these one time. They were perfect looking. I bought from a guy in front of um, TJ Maxx one time. It had, it had the markings and everything. It had the receipt. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, I'm done. That one's 10-carat though right there. Okay, well, this is a bunch of crap costume, but this right here is nice, and that is 14 karat gold, and those diamonds look intriguing. If one of those is... Oh, my God. Did you have a test I don't have it on me. I can ask Jess to bring it. Those are kind of cool, though. Mm -hmm. I see we have a nice tool here. I tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm really stunned right now because... This looks like a real diamond here on the left side. And I don't know yet. I'll wait till I get home. But uh, that's why you look in everything. That's why you look in everything. We're here looking in there. I didn't want to rush through this one. I pick and choose. I pick and choose what I do rush through. There's a lot of units I don't have a choice. But this is one you definitely I did not rush through. And there's a reason why. Anyway, I'm going to get back to uh, sorting. This is brand new. So those could be some type of money there. Mm -hmm, a little pendulum. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm, that's weird. Alright, so, we have a plastic tote right here. It doesn't say words. I wasn't going to open any of these. I was going to leave them for when the little woman got here. She's on her way with Eviana, so we'll have a little bit of Eviana and the little woman. But this one had no marking. I love boxes that don't have a marking. I don't know why, but I'm always attracted to them. I like boxes that are heavily written on so it's easy to tell. And then I also like when they write on everything and don't write on one. So I'm gonna look in this one because of that. I should get some scissors. I know someone's gonna tell me in the comment. Maybe we'll find some here soon. We're in a sewing unit. 
Hmm. I don't know if that's what I wanted to see. Let's see though. You never know what's in here. Christmas? Oh yeah. A cute little fairy for a fairy garden. Okay. It's like yard stuff, I guess. Yard. Yard. It's yard. Obvious sewing stuff will get set aside. Hmm. This is a little intrigued, huh? I'll use this empty drawer here. Cute little wallet, vintage. That's kind of cool. Little patchwork. Nice light. That's nice. We had a couple. I think we're gonna hit. I think we're gonna hit some gold. I don't know why. Just maybe possibly fill it. Let's see what we have here. This looks Native American, possibly, or something. It's got jade there. And I'm setting things like that aside. See, look, we got work like that going on. Then we have this cool belt. Ooh, this though, right here. That is shade. That's cool. And I'm going to continue looking at this. It keeps getting everything. I like the quality in this though. I, I don't know, something about this. We'll set that aside. Those are 14 too, I think. All right, one. Two, three, four, five, six. So many cool little things. This is kind of cool. This looks like a hippo head. No, I thought it was a hippo head, but I'm completely wrong. Here we have a sterling silver necklace. That is really nice. I'm going to save these. I don't know what they go to. Now look at this. A bag of sharp teeth for necklace making. That is pretty tight. Hmm. Muslim replicas? I don't know. I like that though. It looks like silver. And then up here is... I don't know. Interesting. I'm just going to set all these cool little trinkets aside for now. So I have time to look at them all. Fragrant oil. Whoo! Nice. Here's another one, but it won't open up. I don't want to mess it up. Oh, here we go. No. All right. And we have another one. Ha ha ha! Look at that. And a. What is this? A, I thought it was a for um a flute at first, but very unique. Very unique. Dang, everywhere is something falling. We'll have to go and pick those up. Look at that cool little pre-Columbian head there. And these buttons. I'm going to pick those all up real quick. I like that. I don't know what it goes to, but it's very tribal. Anything good? I'm like being extremely thorough here and I'm never like this. Because I have found some weird things in some weird places. Ooh, more jade. Look at this. Oh, why is it intertwined there? That... Okay, what is this? Wow. These are really beautiful. I don't know what they are. That is nice too. Jade, jade, jade. Cool little necklaces, old looking rope. It's nice stuff though, I'll tell you that. Vintage, vintage playing cards are good money, so you know, Anthony. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. That's a bolos. 
Like, no, literally, that's a Bolos. That is nice. This one box is going to be... Ooh. What do we got here? A little bit of cute earrings. Nice. Mm, nothing special, but cute little stuff. A lot of deck of cards here. A lot of personal stuff. A lot of... This is weird. There's so much little... Look, here's a little snippet of letters from pre-World War II. Okay. Black and white. Visual aircraft recognition. Graphic training aid. What the? Interesting. Let's see. Please be the money. I know you want to look at these right now. I'm going to save these for the end of the video. I know I do that to y'all a lot. Those are the end of the video right there. Or the end of this box. That looks like gold. Those are cool though. I don't know. We'll have to look into those. What is this? I think it's a sewing part. There's a lot of sewing stuff in here. Mm, a humidor? What is this? See something. See something I can't live without. Are you taking that to your car? You taking that to your car? We ain't gonna leave the Christmas stuff here. It is a humidor. I'm guessing. Mm. Art supplies. Uh, is it just plain paper? Yeah. Yeah, we'll take, just leave that in there. This is definitely art supplies. What is it? Art supplies. Mm. Do you need any? Mm -mm. Why you could paint me a pretty picture? I don't know how to use acrylic paint. Hmm. Well, there's you know how you do it. You learn. And you make me a pretty picture. Uh, Here is paint brushes. Those are kind of some neat ones. I'll set those aside for Alameda. Crayons, protractors, watercolors. It's just so much paint. Someone in Stockton's going to have their day made. Here we have a dolly too, Anthony, if you want. Alright, let's make it sure. You know. Artist painting medium for oil color. Okay. Holy jumping Jehoshaphats. Do you know what that's from? I think it's from Looney Tunes, where I learned to say jumping Jehoshaphats. Nice little coin collection. What is he doing there? Look. Oh, oh, oh. I get. Oh, 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 oh. This is pretty nice right here. Made of some type of wood. All right, I don't know if this will be the end of the video, but I'm gonna go go ahead and go through this one real quick because we this could be the end of the video here on this one and start a new one. That's a gold piece right there. Very old pearls. That has a tabletop in there. That's just a piece of wood, Anthony. It's not special. This. Please, baby, please. Come on. Oh, we have silver. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And we come again here without the, the French language here. 925 silver. This is pretty nice right here. This is that Siam stuff. Yep, see? Siam. Here we have, ooh, look at this. This is beautiful right here for silver. What is that, a little B or something? B, all that you can be. A little toe ring. That's sterling and it's stamped with some type of name. Oh, look at this thing. Handmade silver or something, what is that? Yeah, we all have our things, you know. Tomatoes? I like tomatoes. 
Look at these, or gold maybe. A lot of little pieces here. This is silver. This button looks silver with pearl in it. We got a lot of shark teeth. And there's little pieces of silver popping out of here. I'm not going to complain about that. These are like freaking little ivory pieces. They say, good luck to those who wear me. I'm pretty sure that's what they say. We got the Eiffel Tower. We got this little neat little silver and cloisonne pendant. Back again, we have this beautiful fish. It goes woo. -hoo 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 -hoo. Those look like they got gold ends in them right there. That's unique. There's another fish. That one looks gold, actually. Hmm. Come on, more silver and gold. Let's do it. We got shark teeth for days. All right, carrying on, we have one last box here. On three, two, Ooh, what do we have here? Uh -huh. Jessica? David? You're, I think it's a freaking gold bracelet. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. It has a special little pin that goes in here and locks it. I think it's, and I'm, this is gold in my eyes. It's probably 10 carat. Here we have some beautiful shells here. Little necklaces. This thing is nice. Sterling silver. Look at that. It's beautiful. These are exquisite. Look at these. They're like little antique. Probably ivory. I like how they do this. See how they manage to get the, the ivory in the inside? My love, check these out. Those look very costumey right there. That has a potential to be in gold, LHMS 1949. Here we have 14 karat in sterling. This one is for it. <laughs> Let me see. No, I can't show that one. Those are kind of cool too. We're going to wrap this up. This will be the last of this and then I'll start a new video, guys. And keep in mind, we'll be lots more. So make sure you have your notifications set to all. This is neat stuff here. Look at that. This one's gold right there. Oh, look at this. Here, this is so you, Anthony. What is it? Come on, we need to find some more jewelry. I feel it coming. I feel like we're about to hit a major vein. Pearls. All right, guys. That was incredible because I won't... I'll be honest with you, I think that's a really a solid gold bracelet right there. And I don't know about you, but I love solid gold bracelets. Nice. That is kind of cool. It's like a birdhouse for what? Fortune teller cards. Stretch and sewn round glass head pins. Oh, okay. I wouldn't really call this stuff Alameda. The basket? No. Actually, yes. The basket very much so. The basket was the nicest thing in this, in this whole thing right here, in my opinion. Looks very well made. All right, what do we have here? Some glasses. Reading. Oh, check those out. Do we go through those? Okay. Revlon and a razor blade. A book guide to life beyond 50. A picture frame. Scarecrow deluxe. Nothing. Tiger out, tea iced out, iced me out. Some scissors. No, 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 nothing. All right. Pewter. I thought for sure these guys would have a sterling scent. I don't, I don't, I like saving those for Alameda, but I feel like every time we do, they don't really sell. Oh, here, this is kind of cute in your tray like that. No, it's just regular plated. Uh, I have a guy who scraps those at the market. He buys them off of everybody, Bob. 
that down. Oh, Japanese. Hmm. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Ooh. What is up with her and all these frogs? For the fake flowers? That's what you do with those. They're, they're... All right. It's cool things. It's nothing special. Little froggies. Candles, stuff like that. We'll put that in our Alameda box. These are kind of cool. Oh, oh, Home Depot or uh, Home Gardens. Continuing on. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little AP set. Come on, what is this? Right now I'm having a, a, a little breather. Oh, come on, for the love of the universe, be a, an amazing Tiffany Sir Sterling Silver set on three, two, one. Um, I don't know what this is. Warring and Gillow. Warring and Gillow. Um, I don't think that's Sterling. I've never seen this before, though. Mooring and Gillow. Mooring and Gillow. Mooring and Gillow. Is that what these are too? Hmm. What is this? Okay, those go like that. And yeah, I don't know what these are. I'm going to have to look this up. It's a very old set though. They don't say silver, they don't say plated, they just say. I'm definitely not upset. If nothing else, that's probably at least a good hundred dollars or more. It might not be sterling silver, but I'm definitely happy because this unit has paid me a lot of sterling silver, a lot of gold. Would I have been happier if that was a sterling silver set? You're skippy hippie, I would have, but what are you gonna do, you know? Gratitude is added to him. I'm a firm believer you're gonna get what you want. I always think gold and silver. That's why I surround myself with it a lot and just like touching it and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, because I keep finding it more and more, and that's laws of attraction. Look at this. Nice. We're buying us some trinkets. I really wish I would have had a chance to buy this storage unit a long time ago before the other units were sold. I would have probably bought all of them had I known. That is beautiful right there too. Modern Danish, thousand dollars, wow. That's crazy. Wow. All right, there's some neat stuff in here. It's coming. Let's at least help him make back the unit that's just regular. All right, this one's what it say? Front room, corner shelf, unit breakables, bird vase, come on, be something. Something good. We have one last box here to go through. Let's make this something good. I think this is about the last real box to go through. What in, oh my gosh. I like that. Nice pieces though. No matter what, we got some cool stuff. Cause I think we got our money back in gold and silver. And then some. This right here is intriguing me. I hate when you get down to the end of a good unit and you're running out of stuff and you're just like one more thing is going to be the cat's meow, it's going to be the last and final hoorah, this is going to be the one, $15, those are not bad though, got a couple more, I got so many of these little cat things. I'm going to cut right there, editor. Oh, my God. So, we're pretty much getting about done to it. There will be a little more footage, I think, in the boxes in there. It's late right now. I'm telling you all, it's late right now. 7.30, almost 8 o'clock right now. I'm going to load up for a little bit, then pick my daughter up at 9, call it a day, and come back in the morning and wrap this up and go pick up the tent. Bye.
12. Uh, this is really House of Grinder Wine at its finest right here. It is going on, who knows, in the evening. It is, let's move this this way. It is probably 8.15. We're just going on stop. People ask me all the time, how do you do it? You know, it's real simple. I don't have a choice. I use this strategy in every way, shape, or form. Of I eliminate choices. I figure out what is the best choice. I take away individually. Okay, that's not, I don't want to do it because of that. I don't want to do it because of that. That's not going to work. That's why. Leaving only one choice. The best solution, the only choice. And that is I have no choice. A lot of people don't understand. Um, it's their fault. Hate to say it, but you have to accept all responsibility in all situations. If a problem happened, it's because you allowed it. Whether somebody else did it or not, you can't blame them. It doesn't work in this world. It just doesn't. I'm sorry. Um, you want success, you have to make it happen. I know it's exhausting. You have to do it. You have to repeat. Hustle, grind, rewind. That's a wrap for the evening. It's almost nine. I got to get up out of here. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. It's, uh, it's a day. Hustle, grind, rewind. It's not a motto. It's the way of life. I say it all the time. Storage units back to full again. It'll be empty by the time I leave here tomorrow. It's a never-ending circle. Long day, Pirates. We're home. And we're going to test this ring right here. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Watch this. Put this on a one. <laughs> this is crazy because these are carrots right here. Watch this. <laughs> Look at that. Watch this. All right, let's do this again here. Watch this. Guys. I showed you right here again. Watch. I'm going to show you one more time. I'm, I'm about to lose it. <laughs> it. It skyrockets up. That's like, I've never seen anything like that. Two, two carrots. Not just one, but two. I've never found a ring like this before and I am just juiced right now. I will show that this bad boy right here, this became a whopping 10 and 14 carat. It, will, it ain't gonna matter much because a little woman's dip this. 32 grams. Uh, and we got a little bit here. I don't even know. I, I'm just, I'm in awe. Let's see what this ring weighs. I don't know much about this, but. Another, what is this? 16, 15 grams. 